All right then, my friends. So we've already seen how to use chat completion to generate AI responses, much like ChatGPT. Next, I want to look at how we can use OpenAI to generate images based on, again, a text description. So if we head over to the image generation page in the docs, we're going to see how this works. And again, it's really simple to use. We just need to call this create image function and pass in a few options inside an object. So again, the prompt to tell AI what kind of image we want to make. N is the number of images that we want to generate, basically. And the size is the size of the image that we want. And you can't just add any old size here. It has to be one of the allowed sizes by OpenAI that you can see above the code up here. So that's how we generate an image. And the response that we get back looks something like this, where we get a URL of the image that's been made. And that's found on response.data dot data and then the first element in that array. So it might actually be a good idea to copy this line so we can use it in our own project. Okay then, so I'm gonna make another function inside the OpenAI controller file at the bottom down here. So it's not going inside this function anymore, generate meta. I'm gonna make a separate function to generate images. So we'll say const generate image is equal to async and it's gonna be a function and inside this function, we want to make the request. Now, as an argument, we're going to pass in the description of the image that we want. So we'll pass that in later on. All right, so we'll say const image is equal to await, and then it's open AI dot, and the method was create image. And remember, we pass in an object, and inside that we have a few different properties. The first one is the prompt, and the prompt is just going to be the description that we pass in. So we pass in the description, and that's going to say something like, make an image um, that's maybe a monkey on a swing in a forest or something like that. So we're going to pass that in. Then we'll say n is 1 because we just want to generate one image. The size is going to be one of those allowed sizes. So we'll say 1024 times 1024. In fact, it can be 512. It's a bit smaller. So 512 by 512. All right. So that's pretty much all we need to do right here. Then we can log out the response that we get. So console.log, and I'm going to paste in that response. So response.data.data, first element, then URL. Now, obviously, we're not using response. We're using image instead. So let's change that to image. All right. So we have this function. Now we need to export it right here, generate image. And then I'm going to save this and head back to app.js. And we need to ask another question for the user to describe an image that they want. So I'm going to duplicate that. And in fact, I'm going to comment out this one right here. So there we go. And over here, we'll say generate image. Click on that. It should import it for us. And we need to change this question right here. And instead, we will say describe your YouTube thumbnail or something like that. Doesn't really matter. OK, so I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to run it. So let me cancel out of this process and then say node app. So describe your YouTube thumbnail. So we'll say a monkey playing tennis. All right. So press enter. It's going to take a little while to generate this. But once it's done it, it's going to send us back a URL to this image. All right. And there it is. So I'm just going to click on that and then say open. And then I'm going to scoot this over here. And there we have our image, a monkey playing tennis, awesome. And this image, by the way, is a computer generated image. It's not some image that OpenAI has found on the web somewhere and just returned it to us. It's looked our description and it's generated the image itself, which is pretty cool. Now, some of the images that it creates are downright sketchy. For example, I'm gonna go back over here and try something different. I'm gonna cancel out of that and then run it again. And I will say a ninja in an office or something like that. Press enter. And hopefully we'll get another URL in a second. All right, there we go. So I'm going to click on that, open it up and bring this over here. And yeah, it looks like a bit of a deranged Spider-Man in the office, to be honest. <laughs> but there we go. That is how we generate images using OpenAI. All right, cool. So now we know how to get text completion or chat responses and also how to generate images. I think what I'd like to do in the next lesson is turn our project right here into a bit of an express API so that we can have different endpoints for these two different things. One endpoint to generate the metadata, so the description and the tags, and then another one to generate images.